everyone welcome back to the channel i have not been here for a very long time and i will not apologize because there's been a lot going on because i've been moved into college and i have to deal with all the living and school stuff and i didn't want to film any sort of like come with me to my college and like daily life kind of style because i don't feel comfortable with putting that on the internet so i'll probably just be posting things like exploring the city um, and montages of uh, videos that i took along the way so i hope you will enjoy them and let's begin so the majority of this video will be me walking through galleries in chelsea which i had a lot of fun to do and i'll probably have a lot more like footages of that later um, on this channel this is SCA Chelsea Gallery, which is the gallery of my university. Um, I was basically there to see the underground poster collection and I found it very inspirational because of all the, like, the positivity and quotes that they put on the walls and how the different uh, artists create posters for each year and basically shows how the school is really engaging in uh, putting their artwork into the public and inspiring the general public rather than being sort of like a exclusive uh community i guess and it also appeals to like how art can be applied to the commercial fields and the businesses which is really important principle for the school um a lot of this part of the video i'll talk about what the exhibitions are but sometimes i'll just let you watch it a lot of the information of where it went and what the artists um, who the artists are will be linked uh, will be linked in the description and you can look there for more, for more information if you would like to go to Hudson River side on a good weather day which I did and I loved it and there was also like big ships coming through and I did some really good drawings um, so first of all I had to go to the Chelsea gallery for my sculpture homework which is like uh, drawing these sculptures in real life um, but then I was also really intrigued by a lot of the other galleries on, along the way because if you know Chelsea, like on the very west side, a lot of the gallery, galleries are basically in clusters and literally they're next to door to each other. So you might as well just go in while, they're, while you're there, which is what I did. And this footage that you're seeing right now is a collection of different artists who are focusing on the theme of concerning nature. So they sort of have like assemblage uh, 2D photography, um, multimedia pieces that expresses how they view nature and how sort of our industrial and commercial community has transformed nature, nature in a way that it's not quote unquote natural anymore. Um, I think this really relates to a lot of the things that we've been reading in philosophy class and now that I know about these ideas that surround me every time i walk out of the door i have an existential crisis of how capitalism is everywhere which i guess is good that i'm aware of what's happening around me um this is starbucks reservery you should definitely check it out it's very aesthetic and you can technically just walk through without buying anything but i sat for croissant and chai tea which was really nice and i did some sketching too you can head on my instagram to see more of my updates in new york city um and a lot of my sketchbook content including studio classes homework this was david sviana's gallery i heard of this gallery because when i was in germany um a few of the people that i knew who worked in the industry uh recommended his gallery because um the guy is german and just i found that there would be a connection there um and they feature a really big collection of artworks and photography and it's definitely one of the biggest ones um of all the galleries i've visited before so you should definitely check this one out if you want like like more fine art like painterly and photography stuff because some of the other only um right now has like sculptures okay um so i'll just let you watch this for a while and i'll jump in when i want to talk about some of the footages
Okay, I will be talking about this collection of artworks. It's in a listen gallery and it's by the artist called Lore Provost and the collection is called Stranded by Your Side. Again, all of this will be written down in the description if you want to check it out. But she does this series of um, octopus that emerges out of the ground and there's sand everywhere and you can walk into the scene to really experience the artwork itself and I really love the engagement that the audience get to have with it rather than just looking at a piece of artwork like it's put, being put on a pedestal. I know I'm not following the footage but just listen. Um, and there's a really great... I, I only loved sort of the 3D component that she had because the painting on the side that she put was not the strongest things also it did convey her message as well but i was just really attracted to how the octopus emerges out of the ground and it's a symbol for motherhood and and sort of how scary it can be sometimes but also how loving it can be and i think it's one of the really interesting themes that i also wanted to explore in my artworks include femininity so i was really attracted to that uh collection Alright, so last but not least, this is another one of my favorite shows that I see that I saw on that day. It is a collection by Laura Anderson Barbada. Um, it's called The Singing Leaf, and it's basically inspired. It, it's her first fo so solo exhibition of the Mexican transdisciplinary artist, um, and it has two floors it occupies two floors of the gallery although i think i only went to the first floor so i might go back um and this collection highlights nearly three decades of the artist's rich and varied output across time and space works on view include photography drawings collages textiles video installation and sculpture as well as um, mixed media documentation from a selection of social projects initi initiated with numerous collaborators so definitely go check this one out. I really, really love how the costume that she created inspired by um, Mexican and, and like the culture around Amazon and a lot of other cultures that's not like mainstream. Um, so, and, and I'm, I'm a sucker for different medias and how people mix them together and I was just like, oh wow, the moment I walked into that gallery. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this new video that I created. Um, it's a very chill one. You can perfectly play it in your background as you work. I will be coming up with more videos. I don't know what they are yet, but please stay tuned. I will see you in the next one. Bye.